What the fuck you looking at? Hey, hey, I look up here. Got on my purple jeans. 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 High school kids do some stupid things. With their underdeveloped prefrontal cortexes, teenagers make some of the worst decisions known to man. Most of those decisions won't permanently affect their lives, but some decisions do. For one group of Ohio teenagers, a prank and the resultant overreaction to being pranked led to a drastic, permanent outcome. One day after school, brothers Deshaun and Tyler Stafford were playing basketball with their cousin Donovan at the high school basketball court. Notorious goofball Ethan Liming and his friends decided to prank these basketball players and film it for their social media accounts. Because that's what pranks are for these days, apparently. At the risk of dating myself, I remember when pranks were just for laughs between friends. But with the advent of social media, people are using pranks for clout. And so it doesn't matter whether you prank your friend or a complete stranger. As long as you say, it's just a prank bro and get some good views, everyone's happy. Right? Well, Deshaun et al. didn't see it that way. Ethan's prank was to shoot gel guns at the boys playing basketball and film their reactions. The actual resultant reaction was twofold. First, the boys playing basketball, thinking they were being shot at by real guns, started to run away. But once they realized those guns were fake, they attacked the pranksters. The entire event was captured on the school's surveillance camera except for the moment Ethan was attacked. And that's really too bad because Ethan died that night. The three adult men ended up beating up these teenage pranksters to the point of causing Ethan's death. Allegedly. While the police already have witness statements from the survivors of the attack, they also want to get Deshaun's, Donovan's, and Tyler's sides of the story. And so, these three men are brought into the police station and questioned separately. Let's see what they have to say. But first, a moment of silence for Ethan Liming. So, we have to read this to everybody, okay? Um, just part of our policy, okay? You have the right to remain silent, do you understand that? Just say yes or no. Yes, sir. Okay. Anything you say can and will be used against you in court of law. You understand that? Yes, sir. You have the right to talk to a lawyer, have him or her present while you're being questioned. You understand that? Yes, sir. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any question if you wish. You understand that? Yes, sir. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. You understand that? Yes, sir. All right. Having these rights in mind, that I explained to you. Do you want to talk to us and explain what happened that night in your side of the story? Uh, I'm out of going to jail. If you're under arrest right now, it's not going to jail. More than likely. But now is your time to tell your side of the story. Because we only have one side of the story. And there's always two sides to every story. We're just, we're, if you want to tell us your side of the story, we're more than happy to sit here and, and, and hear what you have to say to us. It is kind of crazy, and that's kind of why we want to. I ain't gonna say y'all seen for yourself. Well, it, it, the video isn't that good, so we can't see everything, and we don't know what you were thinking at that time. You know what I mean? It's not like it's all about to tell you, but it, it's not it. I literally got shot at one day. The gut shot came up this way. Okay, so, so okay. just just tell us what happened, man. <clears throat> Uh, it was it was chasing us on a on a court with the girls that were we was playing basketball. They did not come here to play basketball. They did not come do nothing that bro. They literally pulled up fast as fuck. I thought those people would get out the car to shoot shoot at us like real gun and I was gonna do it. I didn't look at the car, I didn't do nothing, I ran away. But I ran away, my my brother was still on the court for real quick. And they was running after us. Stay, whatever, and I went over there to confront him. He still 
shoot me, literally, in my body. And then when, as I'm getting closer, he shot me all over my face and shit. Can you pull your hair up? Where did you get your hair? Right here. All right. Yeah. Sure. Okay. When you say you guys were on the court, who, who was on the court? Uh, me and my brother. Some other dude. Some other dude? Do you know who that other dude is? You never seen him before, nothing like that? Okay. So you were just, was he there when you got there? Who? The other, the, the other dude. Yeah. Okay. And who was the girl? You don't know her either? Was she there when you got there? You don't know? No. Okay. All right, go ahead. So, continue. Whatever. He shot me in my face. So, I hit him. And then his friend got out the car and tried to help him. Whatever. So, and that was happening. My brother came and tried to help me and shit. And he got him off. Yeah, so I got a lot of this right here. What's that from? That's from the road. And I hit my head like literally he slammed me. So, so, so you, you and the guy just this, this Okay, and then what happened? You guys grabbed each other? Was there a yeah, tussle? He grabbed me, he literally grabbed me, and then I slammed him. So you slammed him onto yeah. the ground? Yeah. And then what happened when he fell off? He literally we let him back up because my brother was helping me over for, yeah, I hit him a couple times. We let him back up, and then he started following my brother because he was about to leave. Okay, so, so you guys are walking away from the situation. Yeah, she literally walked away, bro. And he came back for you. He was following my brother. And my brother had called my name. That's when I ran over to him and I hit him and he fell in the So you punched him and he fell down the ground. So when you say he was following you, where were you at when you turned around and your brother called you? I'm by the car confronting other dudes. I was about to fight them too, for sure. By the blue car? Yeah. And so when he called me over, I literally hit him. He went right to sleep and shit. Okay, so when he fell, what happened after that? I hit him two times. And he, when he was on the ground? Yeah. Okay. Did then what happened? None of that. They, uh, the motherfucking friends, they tried to come jump in and steal our shit, but the other nigga, the one with the dreads, he ran away. And then the light skinned nigga followed him and shit. Okay. And what about the white kid, the other white kid? Did, uh, shot at you? Yes. He, he was. He had the gun and literally ran towards it like he ran it down with that gun. Like literally Over at the courts. Yes. Okay. Um, basically, it's soft with my fucking toy gun. So, did you know it was a toy gun to begin with? No, I just told them they pulled up and I started running. They pulled up like they was coming. Like, if you know people in the hood, bro, you know how they pull up real fast and they just get to jump and I was shooting. Okay. That's how it was. Like, when did you realize that it wasn't real? I my, guess. I told you, my brother yelled out the gun. It's a big gun. So were you still on the court at that time? Uh, I was like literally all the way in the back, off the court, going to the back. So you're saying you came out and you ran away? Yes. Okay. So who ran towards him? Who ran towards who? Who ran towards the blue car originally? I walked, like you talk about after they took so this. When you're on the court, and they're shooting at you, and you realize it's a toy gun. You're running the other way. Who ran towards the blue car? Because the video showed somebody running towards the blue car, not running away. I'm trying to, they, they ran back to the car. That's correct. Nobody ran directly towards the car. Somebody followed. Yeah, we can I, see that. I followed them back to the car. Okay, okay. That was so what I just you. told you. I went to there to confront them about shooting us. So that was you that came Literally. And when I'm walking up to him, he literally shoot me all in my shit, literally. Okay. So that's when you hit him, and then you yeah, hit him, and then you slammed him. That's what I'm saying. And then I tired. I tried to talk to him, literally, but he literally just kept shooting me. And he shot me in my face. So I hit him. Okay. So when he was knocked down, you said you hit him a couple times? Yes, yeah, so I did. Who kicked him? I don't know. You don't know? Was it you? No. No. Was it the other guy that you don't know? I don't know. You don't know? No. They probably threw for it, to be honest with you. He probably got kicked when we was testing him. When I showed my arm and shit, he probably got kicked back there because we was both on the Is that the marks in your hands from hitting him or from? This is 
This from scraping on the concrete. What, I slammed it? Yeah. This is from scraping on the concrete and shit. I think this is from hitting him when I, uh... Knocked him out? Yeah. Okay. That's my knuckle fucked up and shit. Uh, is it broken or anything? It's probably broken. Did you go to last one? No. So, uh, so, the whole thing, you guys were, when he gets knocked down, the whole thing happened afterwards, correct? And then the, they moved the car to go get him. What happened after that? Uh, well, And you said you started confronting the other guys in the car. We confronted the dude in the car. They moved the car. We got in the car and literally drove up and left. Who did you move the their the, their car that blue car up the park lot? Who moved that? You got an awesome. Did you see their car drive? No. I threw up. I don't know what happened. Y'all seen it throw up on the I was throwing up. I literally hit my head on the concrete right mm -hmm. here, bro. Like, literally, I mean, my hair, bro. I can't do shit. I was literally disoriented. Almost passed up. How did you drive your car home? Yes. How did you hit your head? Simple, simple. Literally, literally grabbed my head. And then when I picked him up, literally went down with both of them. I cracked okay. my head up. Hey, it was literally Okay. Um. Did you grab any of their phones? Who, who did? You, when uh, someone was someone called nine one one, we were there. I don't know. I didn't touch nobody's shit. You didn't touch anybody's phones. I didn't touch nobody's shit. Okay. So you were never inside the car. Reached inside the blue car. Yeah, I reached. I reached inside the car for that gun. That guy that they had. It's in my house. Okay. That's what you got so, Okay. Did you take the gun? Yeah, I took the gun. I was about to. I was about to use it for evidence for fuck. I didn't know the little nigga died until the next morning, bro. That was the moment before they asked for shooting at us at the basketball court. And now all I see is the next morning he's doing the dead, bro. Let me ask you this. Why didn't you just call us that night? Because I didn't know he was fucking dead. Well, I mean, you said you were going to call a reporter for shooting at you. But it wasn't going to be irrelevant. I didn't feel like it was that serious. I'm like, fuck, because I'm not a snitch. I'm not about to just, I'm like, oh, yeah, they just caught up. They caught up here, whatever, fuck. They shot at me. This is so, I got a question for you. Since you reached in the car to get the gun, yes. all right, there's a third person there that nobody seems to know. Who? Well, you said there's there's three dudes. There's you and your brother, and you didn't know the other guy, correct? No. Okay. So, somebody moved the car. So, if you reach into the car, do you have a problem if we collect your DNA? Because we're swabbing the car for DNA, and if you were in the car, we need to be able to match your DNA up to that so that we can figure out whose DNA is the one we don't know. Do you have any problem with that? Uh, definitely got a problem with my DNA, but like, I gotta have a lawyer for all that other shit. Okay, well we're gonna, get a, we're gonna get a search warrant for your DNA right now, and we're gonna come back and you're gonna have to give it to us. So um, we'll, get the, we'll get the judge to sign a court order, and uh, you need any water or anything? No, I don't get there, There's a guy going right now to pick up, to pick up, to pick some up for you. That's a good rich one. Yeah, we'll get you to the restroom in just a minute. To get that gun that sits your house for evidence. Okay. Well, I mean, we can run it. We can send a car up to get it. But um, whose house is that up there? Now, do you live there or no? Like for like weeks at a time or? Um, what, is your girl there now? Uh, I don't know. She was there when y'all came down. Can I get her phone number and I'll give her a call and if you want you can talk to her and tell her, hey, go ahead and let them come get it? Does she know where it's at? Let me ask you that. Yeah, okay. Can. What's her number? You gonna have to call, no, I don't know her number by heart. But call my Dude, mom. you know my girl's number? I, I gotta say, I don't know my mom's number by heart. Like, if I say my number. So, how am I going to get in touch with her? So, you call my mom, right? Mm -hmm. And tell her, uh, just grab Is her number in your phone? I don't even have a phone. Y'all took my phone. Right, it's here. What? Your phone. My phone? Yeah. Is it in there? I guess so. Okay. What's the passcode so I can get it out and call her? I can't get my code in my phone. Well, how am I going to get the phone from? I just told you.
What's your mom's name? Okay, so tell her to call your girl. Yeah, grab the toy gun and we'll send a, a police car up to get it. Yeah. Okay, all right. Is your mom gonna believe me if I tell her that she's gonna have to talk to you? She'll believe me. All right, all right, sit down. He's gonna take pictures since you told us you got injured and stuff like that to corroborate your story. He's gonna take your pictures, okay? Um, he has. We just put your hands on his shoulders. His knuckles, sure. And then there, and then you said you had a mark on your leg. That was no. This is a. This, I got PTSD from getting shot. This is a real bullet hole. Oh, okay, that's a real one. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's from the the Orbeez thing. This, no, this is from the road. This is, okay. Did you get hit with that? I got shot in the face over here, like the little black marks. You can barely see them. I'll get it for you. Take pictures of it. Yeah, like up here. I don't know if you can see it. And I don't like my hair all over. I got, like, my. I fell. Basically, I tried to slam you, and I hit my head. Oh, okay. I'll just hold it up like that, keeper. There you go. And uh, I'm going to zoom in closer. So just hold it down. I'll play when I'm done. All right. Right up by the hairline, right? Yeah. Yeah, I did see it showed up on here, I think. Uh, just put your hands on like that there. I'm Detective Williams. This is Detective Aber, all right? Before we get too far into things, I want to read you something. I'm going to ask you to respond out loud if you understand. You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand that? Out loud, please. Yes. Okay. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Do you understand that? Yeah. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have them present with you while you are being questioned. Do you understand that? Yeah. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, it won't be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. Do you understand that? And you've decided at any time to exercise these rights, not answer any questions or make any statements. You understand that? Okay. And then 10 3. All right. Having your rights in mind, you want to talk to us today about why you're here? I, I know, but why the charges as to why you're here? You don't know? This is your time to tell us your story. Yeah. Listen, yeah. This is your time to get your story out. We. we you only got one side of the story right now, and you had your side of the story. Now's your time to tell us about your side of the story. I'm sorry? Hey, listen, that's, it's not going to get you anywhere. And I don't have a smoke to give you. I don't smoke, bro. Do you want to tell us your side of the story? Because right now... Did you ask any camera? Did anyone else see the camera? What cameras? Did you ask any camera? Yeah, we watched some cameras. We watched yeah. Have you all seen that? Have you all seen them? No, actually, because the cameras aren't good. So yeah. it, it, now's your time. Because I'm going to be honest with you, it looks really bad on you guys right now. Obviously. If, well, the way the, the little boy was beat up, yeah. But we need to know the whole story, and we need you to tell us your side of it. Because there's two sides to every story, man. And we're, we're willing to sit down and listen to what you got to say. Well, so from what you are seeing, you are seeing us playing basketball, as you are seeing. Okay, seeing so you were, you were playing basketball with who? My brother. Playing basketball with him. Okay, who was the little girl there? Daddy. Little girl. Yeah, there was a girl there. I mean, here's the thing, man. The person I know is my brother. Here's the thing, man. Hey, listen. We've spent 16 hours a day here for the last week since this has happened looking into this. And we know a lot more than you think you know. So I know I know who was there. Okay, and I'm going to tell you what I know. Okay, so who all was there? Me, my brother. Okay. And somebody who was swimming. And Steve was playing basketball. What's the other man's name? I don't know his name. Okay. I don't know. Playing basketball. Okay. A blue car pull up. Okay. Somebody driving. Two people in the back. They get out, start shooting at us. Okay. With fucking a gun. I don't know if it was real or not, but I end up just standing right there on the courts without running. Then my brother and the other person ran. They shooting that fucking gun. It had ice balls in it hitting us. And my brother got shot in his face. Okay. That's why we start fighting. 
Did you get hit? Yes, I got, you got hit. We all got hit. Did the other guy standing right there got hit with them? Did the other guy get hit? Everybody got hit with them. Everybody standing right there okay. got hit with them. So everybody got hit with them, and then what happened? They ran off. Mm -hmm. Told my brother, I could I seen what happened. I'm like, them bitches, this is fake guns. Because okay. they thought it was real guns. He was running for his life. He was scared. Okay. Like them fake. So when did you realize the they were fake? When they walked up, they start shooting, right? Right. My brother and the other person takes off. Started running. I did not run. I just backed up. Okay. So I see what they shooting. You feel what I'm saying? I can see what they shooting. Okay. They shooting them fucking Orby guns with fucking ice in them. Hitting my brother in the face. Hitting me in the face and shit. So we walked back. We, after they left, like ran off a little bit. They walked back because the niggas started chasing us. We walked over. Wait, who started chasing you? The two people out of the car started trying to chase us. Okay. But they see me just standing there because I was not worried about that shit. Even though it's hitting me with ice. Go over there. My brother confronted him about it. He started shooting my brother in the face. That's how the fight started. I don't know about how that man died or nothing, but all I know is he got knocked out in the end of the conversation after that. That's all I know. Okay, so who knocked him out? Austin. I don't know. So you, your brother, and the other random guy. He all was playing. Everybody so you were all fighting. fighting. Everybody was fighting. Yeah. You were all all fighting. Yes. Okay. All, all of us not all fighting him. Like all three of us jumping him. No. All of us fighting. All of us. Can you do what I'm saying? So were you fighting with the other passengers in the car? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm no. not. We weren't like, jumping him. We was fighting. So, so your brother. It was four of us against three of us. Okay. So four of them against three. So so your brother goes to confront who got the gun, okay. shooting him in his face. Okay. Literally sitting there shooting him in his face while he's trying to confront him. Okay, okay. So and then so your brother confronts him and you know, grab each other. What what happens after that? Was that it was a straight up start to a Who starts with me? Well, I don't know the I don't know the man. I don't know the names. I don't know them. I mean I'm Cleveland. Did your brother did your brother get hurt? Was he got any injuries? He got shot in his face. Yeah, he got a lot of scars on his face. Did the other guy land any punches or do you know? Uh, yeah, they were swinging at each other. Okay. Uh, all I can tell you is, I don't know none of them people. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. Next week, oh, I ain't trying to stand up on the other people, but other than that, I don't know shit. Sure. Okay. I don't know. So, when your brother. It was, and, not, it, was never a, it was never a race crime or none of that. No, and I never. Nobody ever said it was. I mean, yeah, that's. I heard that. Well, you, you know, that's, right. that, that crap's on social media. And not a you, can't, you can't believe anything out there. So, when your brother and the guy are fighting, what happens then? How, how does it end? Uh, so. Hey, hey, first of all. The two people that were shooting the gun was not even the person I was driving. The person I was driving was the person who got knocked out, right? Okay. He got out the car. After after my brother confronted the dude and hit him, he got out the car, trying to fight. My brother, you know, when they started fighting or whatever, he let him go. He got up, you feel me? He got up. They could have died back in the car and left, you feel me? They still was trying to fight. Okay. Then that's when he tried to fight up with me. He tried to fight me. And all I said was, bruh. And then that's when my brother came over here. They started fighting again. Okay. Then so he knocked him out. He got knocked out. And then what? Then, then that's when I guess his friend called nine one one or whatever. He was like he's still breathing or whatever. But I didn't know he was dead. Okay. Um. So his friend called nine one one. Who grabbed his phone? The guy when he was on the phone on nine one one. Someone grabbed his phone. You could hear that. Do you know who did that? Was it you? Was it your brother? No, I don't think so. I don't you don't think so? Do you think so or you don't? I don't. Was it the third guy that you don't know? No. Um, so after the dude's knocked out on the ground, do you guys just leave? Or what I happens? I know other people too. Okay, so how did it, I guess, tell me how it came to an end. Find other people. After he got knocked out, he started finding other people because they were shooting at us too. Okay. Then we ran off. And once they ran off, we just left. You, you left in your car? I don't have a Well, the car that you came in. Who drove the victim's car? Mm -hmm. Was it you? Drove it where? Drove it through the parking lot. It wasn't you? I went in his car. I took one of the guns out of there. 
You what now? So one of them orbit guns that they have that one. Uh, of the so where is that orbit gun at? Right at the rest of it. It's in there. Okay. Um. So you don't know who drove his car across the parking lot. No. Did uh, who chased the dude over the McDonald's? The dudes over the McDonald's lot. That you guys picked, oh, you picked him up. At the, wait, pick who, pick who up. The one guy chased the, the three boys over towards the McDonald's lot and then got picked up in your car. Who, who was that? Was that your brother you picked up? I didn't pick up nobody. So you didn't drive the car? I, I don't have a vehicle. I don't drive. I, I understand that. I didn't pick nobody. So you did Operation Brothers vehicle? No, I did not. Okay. Wait, I only did one time. I did, I did Operation one time. Like that night? When I put, I pulled his car from the side where we was already coming from, we was hoping that it was like, you know, they not the brown course side of Yeah. Just the car, and it's the parking lot like this, and then it go like that. Uh -huh. The car was over here, I pulled his car this way. Okay, so you pulled his car from where it was, where it was parked when you guys were duped, and back around towards where all this was going on. Yeah. Okay. Um, but you never saw anybody drive the blue car? That the other guys you up No. Okay. You did go in the car to grab your gun. To grab the gun. The, the gun. Okay. Did uh so what you're telling us is your DNA will be in the car. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what I'm gonna ask you is, would you be willing to give us a sample of your DNA so that we can say that this is your DNA? This is why it's in the car. And then the person's DNA, the third person that you don't know that we're assuming is the person that drove the car, it's pretty much got to be that third person that you don't know, right? So what we need to do is have your DNA so that we can figure out who the last person's DNA is so that we can figure out who they are. Are you okay with that? It's really easy. All we do is just put a Q-tip in your mouth and then we'll be done. That sound all right? Well, he was okay. Well, I'm we'll we'll see. Do you have cigarettes with you, man? No. I smoke miles. I don't smoke cigarettes. Oh. Okay. I'll tell you, we'll, we'll take a look around and see if we can find anybody that has any pair. I can't guarantee anything, but I'll call them. Bad, I'll be <laughs> we'll try and help you out, man. We'll, 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 we'll see what we can do. Go ahead and put your name. Okay. Just Anything man, water. I know you want a cigarette. Do you, have, do you want water or anything like that? That's cool. Did they never find this club? Um, the, the, we sent a guy over to get some. He, he actually uh, was busy when we called him, so he's going to get over there and grab those. All right. Oh, sorry. We'll get you your water. Um, we'll get you the slides as soon as they get here. All right, man. All right. So, um, anytime we ever bring anybody in here, regardless if it's questioning, regardless if it's arrested, we always read them their rights because everybody has a constitutional right to either talk to us or not talk to us. It's one hundred percent their choice. So. You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand that? Yeah. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Do you understand that? Yes. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present with you while you're being questioned. Do you understand that? Yes. 
If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. Do you understand that? Yes. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. Um, with that being said, I always start off, is there anything that you want to talk about before I ask you any questions? Um, it's 100% up to you. Um, if, if you got something you'd like to tell us or talk about or give us an explanation or all the above. Because this it's your chance now for you to tell me what you feel without me asking you any questions. You tell me your thoughts on the matter, um, why you think you're here. Yeah, I know about it. Yeah. I just, uh, I didn't know how to really punch you know, about it, but I was just really making it. Okay. okay. I understand. So, I guess... I'll ask you some questions, and uh, I'm not here to try to make you answer me a certain way. I only want you to answer in a truthful manner. Um, I'm going to ask you these questions in a way that aren't going to be like sneaky for me to try to pull answers from you or nothing like that. And the only reason I'm telling you that is I don't want you to think this is like some TV type stuff. This is the Akron Police Department. We're just a oh, regular police, police department. Police. Where uh, everybody works in different ways. The way I work with people is I try to earn their trust, so they trust me as well. So, so I want you to trust me, and, and I'll in turn trust you. So, if you could give me maybe like a, a storyline about when you guys were playing basketball, what happened, what you felt was going on, and where it went from there, and how it. Went. So, like, just playing at the, playing basketball. Yeah. Uh, playing like three games. We was on the second game. Okay. And halfway through the game, a car just pulled up. Yeah. At first, it get nobody didn't hop out. So, ain't a, ain't no license on the game. So I as the game stopped. Gotcha. Then somebody hopped out and just started shooting. <clears throat> Yeah. At first, I thought it was a real thing. So yeah. I had ran back. Yeah. They still shooting. I'm just like, why are they mm -hmm. still shooting? Yeah. Then the issue was then. At that point, I just told everybody to shit. I'm really basically talking about everybody. Gotcha. Yeah. When you say everybody, you mean like your cousins and then the other people too? Yes. Okay. Yes. So you're trying to be a, like a mediator? Okay. And this escalated. Yes. Yeah. Once he grabbed him, uh, grabbed my cousin, he escalated. Okay. So when you say he grabbed your cousin, um, which cousin did he grab? Because we we have, and I'm just letting you know. There's we got cameras from McDonald's. Mm -hmm. We got cameras from the Akron School, and then Vanderveer across the street. So we got like all the events. Um, <clears throat> So during the fight, being that it's in the center of the lot, you know, like where the uh, basketball court is, it's well lit up. Yeah. And then the center of the uh, of the parking lot, the videos kind of get pixelated, so you can't tell what you're doing, and you can't tell what your other two cousins are doing. And it, you, you can't pick out who is who because it's like so pixelated. You get what I'm saying? So anyways, um, which one of the people, and I don't even know if you can identify him, grabbed your cousin? Was it one of the ones that was shooting the gun? Yes. Okay. Um, was it one of the white kids or one of the black kids? One of the white kids. One of the white kids. Yes. Okay. Did you know how many kids were in that car? Uh, four total. Four total? Yes. Do you remember there being two white kids and two black kids? Yes. Okay. Um, 
Did all of those guys get out of the car during that fight? Yes. Okay. So what kind of a fight ensued? You said you said you were trying to squash things, and then once one of them grabbed your cousin, like what happened at that point? They basically all got out the car. Okay. So it was getting ready to turn into like a fight. Yeah. Okay. All right. Because my, my cousin tried to catch it. Okay. Because he was shooting in the face. Okay. Steve. Gotcha. Yeah. Just been abroad. Okay. Um. So at that point during the fight, do you remember what happened? Like, was the fight like everybody fighting, or was it a couple people fighting? At, at, at that point, it was just really two of my cousins fighting. I was really going over to the side of the tip of my cousin. Yeah, gotcha. I didn't really jump. Mm hmm. And next thing I know is just I just heard just a, a loud collision like someone just fell to the front. Oh, okay. Yeah. When you heard that loud collision, was that like right by that light pole? Yes. Okay. So was it one of the people that were trying to fight you guys and one of your cousins, two of your cousins, just you, or who was it over there? Because you're saying you were cause I was, you're saying you wasn't right there. You heard the, the loud collision, like yeah. someone falling. Yeah. Who was involved in that fight when when he was falling? My cousin, because he was trying to fight my other cousin. Okay. When my you say cousin. your other cousin, which which one? Because, like I said, it's back and forth. No. no. Okay. That was the one he was. So, first, yes, and then what happened with those two fighting? Like, the, the other kids, okay. So, then you guys noticed the other kids coming over, so you two came over, yes, okay. So, that makes sense. Um and when you two came over, when did you hear that collision or that person falling? Once those two were running back to the car, at that point, I'm not even really worried about this way because they ran to the car to get to leave. Okay. But those two were still fighting. Okay. Because he was still throwing punches. Mm hmm And he was trying to fight my cousin. And he had turned on him. And it was just a hit. And it looked like he was knocked out of him until he hit his head. And the hearse is boom, like he like cracked his head or something. Okay. Then I'm over here asking them why is y'all pulling up, doing stuff like that. No one was touching yeah. the question. Going on. Exactly. No, I, yeah. We're, uh, we have those questions too, trust me. Um, <clears throat> so, the kid with the gun, the white kid, was fighting with Deshaun at first, yeah. and then, and then, and that's when you heard the um, the the collision, the fall, yeah. and then you noticed the other kids go back to the car, yeah. and at that point you you thought things were calming down and cool because they were retreating to their car, so you started feeling. Like things were calming down. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, pretty much. Cause after that point, I was talking to him. I was like, "Why are y'all doing stuff like this? Knowing the situation." Okay. Like, something I basically be talking. Okay. And while that kid was on the ground, do you know what happened after that? Yeah, yeah. I was talking to the guys. So they pulled over there. Yeah. Trying to even Okay. Back in the corner. Yep. Pull back over to the other side. Gotcha. I'm pretty much basically so I talked to him. They was just sitting there just laughing like it was funny. Okay. That his, that his friend it was, it was not funny at all. I agree. Was there any more fighting after he fell to the ground? Yeah. Okay. What happened with that? Once that had punched it, um, to uh, um, guys, you did, yeah, okay. And that was when the one guy was on the phone, yeah, okay. Did you grab his phone too? No, 
You didn't grab his phone? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Is there any reason your your DNA might be on his phone or something like that? Okay. We just had a whole bunch of crushed cell phones out there, so I don't. The cars could have the cars could have ran them over for all I know. I don't know. Um. All right. So so you you punched the two guys over there, yeah. and then did they take off running? Mm -hmm. Did you? I don't want to say I don't want to put words in your mouth, but. You didn't chase after them, but you kind of like took a couple steps after them behind McDonald's. Yeah. Okay, because that's what's on the video right there. It shows that. And then you just stop. And at that point, you don't have a shirt on. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. All right. So so they take off running. No big deal. Um, so what I want to get back to is the point where, where that guy was on the ground. So you were dealing with those other two. At that point, what were your two cousins doing? Were they still fighting with the guy while he was on the ground? No, they were just standing. They was just standing there. Yeah. So no one, no one, no one kicked him in the head while he was ground on the ground, or no one stomped on him. No one straddled him and got on top of him and started punching him. Yeah. So you don't know if that happened. No, I don't really know. Okay. I'm basically chasing him. Okay. So. So at this point, you don't you don't know if they did that or not. Did they talk about that afterwards? Did you guys talk about what happened afterwards? Because I'm sure you guys were. Yeah, you probably didn't right. know that it, what the results of all this was until later. We was talking about the like how the situation happened. Gotcha. Which, which clearly, we definitely understand as human beings, um, something like that happens. Number one. You hear those shots, you think that it's a real gun, and you're like, oh shit, I'm getting shot at, I'm defenseless, I'm in a basketball court, I'm retreating, I'm running to the back. And then at some point, someone realizes it's not a, not a real gun. Mm -hmm. What what conversation took place at that time? Were they, like, did you guys have an idea that they were those, like, whatever, BB guns or whatever? Yeah. Okay. Because I don't know cut them. Did you get hit at all? No. Because I went back. Okay. Mm -hmm. cousin, cousin, I didn't face a couple of Which? I'm not sure. Did, uh, did the girl get hit at all? Well, not she. No. How do you pre Okay. And she had, did she have anything to do with the fight? She was just. She was in the car. What are you talking about? Okay. Okay. All right. Um, so there was a bunch of stuff left on scene two. Um, was the yellow shirt yours that was under the basketball court? Like yeah. a neon yellow shirt? What about the ace bandage? Yeah. Whose is that? Deep down the You think it was there when you got there? I'm not sure. All right. Um, do you have any questions, like anything specific or anything like that? Not right now. No. You said your DNA is not going to be on the phone now. No. Donovan, Deshaun, and Tyler all argued self-defense and got off with the light sentences of 180 days suspended jail time, 18 months of prison, and six months of jail, respectively. Understandably. Ethan's family was not pleased. I'm sure the defense attorneys held a very fun celebratory party, though. <laughs>